This is what I like to call a hostage negotiation, and the hostage in this situation is me. And the reason my life is in danger right now is because of the person that's running the show. The person with the demands. The person that will determine the outcome of the situation because I'm not in full control of this one, guys. Mama is. She wants all of this area to grow out. But in the meantime, we have to taper down the lower areas these lower areas but maintain the sides to grow to the top this is the top and this is the area we got to cover now i'm pretty sure some of y'all are familiar with the show chopped i think it's called chopped and you already understand that there are chefs that are giving this basket in this basket are items in these items are the power to create or to destroy we are using these two things as tools to calm and distract and it's working he is fully gauged at whatever he's watching and sipping on as you can see there is a disconnection on the side of his head and that will get in the way of how the outcome of this haircut turns out but now you know <clears throat> and now you know what this means where we stand what i'm about to say what i'm about to say is this mom hear me out but wait a minute mom's not even here so now we're gonna have to take a gamble the husband needs to take the heat for this cool things are starting to play out they're starting to lay in place and while i'm here guys i'm just gonna go ahead and sneak in try to get this this front area a little bit more you know symmetrical on the partings i okay i did say something to the messenger to the husband that it made more sense bringing this down the same principle as the side is being used for the front now i got a question for you do you stamp your area in your bald guideline in with your hitters or do you stamp them in with your slackers your hitters are the ones that will get that lineup crispy they are specifically used for the lineup typically but there are people out there these people are crazy these people are willing to sacrifice their hitters for the greater good the greater good meaning the rest of the haircut so are you a risk taker or do you stamp them with your slackers the ones that are just sacrifice for the ball guy line because you don't want to play that you don't want to sacrifice your hitters you know how difficult it is to set that blade although the technology to set these blades has improved we understand that once those hitters are in your hands you don't want to lose them You know, cutting Kingsley's hair reminds me how I don't often do the Edgar cut. As a matter of fact, I probably don't do it at all. The Edgar cut is one of those haircuts that you only see in California or in Texas. I'm pretty sure it was Dallas that I noticed it, like that chili bowl cut they rock out there. I mean, Dallas, I, Texas in general has some of the most unique haircuts that I've seen that culturally still stand the, the test of time. Now, I got some good news and I got some bad news. Which one do you want? Hmm? I'm gonna start with the bad news. Look, the bad news is that we are about to do this back taper. A lot of you know what this means. That little area that dips in on the back of the neck, that's that's a very problematic area to deal with, especially with a child. All right, doing these back tapers, we have to keep in mind, mom, her demands are to go a little bit higher. Remember, she wants the area to grow, but also demands a high taper. All right, okay. Preserve the sides, high taper, preserve the sides, high taper, preserve the sides. Make it work, make it work, make it work. In doing so, we are going to use a high guard to create that boundary, then merge it by stacking. But stacking guards is not easy especially on a two-year-old. Now, Kingsley has been sitting here for longer than 15 minutes, folks. I need you to understand. This calls for a milk break, guys. You should take this opportunity to like this video for Kingsley while he's on his milk break, because if he's on his milk break, he's got time to watch you make sure that you hit that like button. So make sure you like it because 
Kingsley's watching. We are about to continue, Kingsley. Hold still, bro. I got you. Now, whenever I'm in this type of situation, guys, I try to ask, you know, hey, what's your favorite color? What are you noticing on the phone if they so happen to be using one? I'm going to be asking them what they're seeing so they can just tell me and feel more confident and feel less tense about what's going on currently, which is me trying to hurry up and get through this freaking process as fast as possible because I know his neck is hurting. We don't want this moment. This is the major setter backer. The major setter backer is when they start freaking crying. Now they're crying, they're irritated from the hair. That's when smoke turns to fire. I, I, I want the smoke, I just don't want the fire. The fire is when you get the trifecta. Me, me and, and Kingsley's dad try to work together to get this freaking C cup nice and precise, but Kingsley's dad wasn't enough anymore. The bottle isn't enough anymore. The, f the freaking phone that works for any little kid, shoot, any human being is not working anymore. So we're left with no other choice. The, the one that's making the demands has to step in to make sure that things get taken care of and i need all the help i can get the thing about this c cup game guys you know it's it's a little it's a little subjective to, to some barbers out there you know some people just start from the bottom and curve all the way through and some people like to create those little reference marks to then later you know merge it in the middle kind of like how i do with those fades um i like to do that option b second one that's the one that i take to to later come back in detail with a razor but you know although i love using razors i'm not really prepared to use it on kingsley so we we have to do the best detail we can do with the hitters that we have although i must say i got some new hitters i didn't get to use it on kingsley but just know I don't know how many of you uh, prep yourselves up to do these front lineups on two-year-olds, but I like to work on my squats. Leg day is real. I don't know if you can notice. My, my legs are the most muscular of all, and I am fully prepared to make sure that this lineup comes out as precise as possible, even if it means I got to go and squat. Now I'm sure you remember when I mentioned previously that I wish I would have wet the hair. This is one of those moments. I needed, you know, to make sure that no extra hair got in the way of this lineup. And so, you know, mom had to take extra time to put that hair back up. When it comes down to this detail work, you want to get that nice soft brush, nothing rough. You don't want to hurt the kid. He's only two guys. The last thing you want to do is use one of these hard bristle brushes on a child. It's already bad enough on an adult. Make sure you got a nice little soft brush. As a matter of fact, when it comes to these kids cuts, it's not a bad idea to buy one of those, um, um, como se llama, como se dice, este, este, el broche ese de los bebés, este, que se puede comprar de, de Walgreens, este, recuerda que, que eso ayuda para que, para que el bebé no llore. But the video doesn't end here, no. No, 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 guys. Mama didn't want to just end it with Kingsley. She had one more demand, one more request, and that was for her husband to get a haircut. She was tired of his hair being long. She was tired of looking at it. All I know is this. I know you don't want to see this, bro, but hold still. As a matter of fact, close your eyes. I got something for that. Well, Luke has something for that. <laughs> 